Can putting Barbies next to G.I. Joes help kids with gender stereotypes? For decades, toy stores have been separated into pink and blue sections. The pink section for girls is full of baby dolls and pretend kitchens and Barbies. The blue section for boys is full of trucks and construction sets and action figures. But starting on January 1st, a new law in California wants to break down the barriers between girls and boys' toys. Large toy retailers are required to include a gender neutral section in their stores and stock toys that are labeled in a way that does not appeal to one gender or another. Failure to comply will result in fines. Evan Lowe, the assemblyman who authored the bill, says the law is meant to help children move beyond gender stereotypes so that girls can be more inclined to play with fire trucks and police cars while boys can play with glitter. LGBTQ advocates say that this is an important step towards ensuring that children don't feel pressure to conform to one gender or another. Of course, the law also has some detractors. The New York Post, for instance, calls it the latest woke California insanity. But the truth is, the move towards more gender neutral toys is not really all that revolutionary. It's only in the past four decades that toys were so heavily marketed towards boys or girls. Before the 1980s, most toys were actually fairly gender neutral. Kids played with things like Play-Doh and Mr. Potato Head and yo-yos and wooden toys that you could pull on a string. Of course, there were also dolls and soldiers, but by and large, boys and girls were playing with each other's toys. In the 1980s, it became clear to toy companies that they could make more money by painting them pink or blue. Some scholars also say that the shift towards gendering toys coincided with broader cultural and societal changes. More women were going into the workplace and that changed the gender dynamics at home. So having highly gendered toys was another way to reinforce traditional gender roles. 40 years later, kids are now used to playing with gendered toys. And this law is designed to change that. But some experts believe that it could take time for kids to want to play with toys that aren't clearly marked for boys or girls. So what do you think of this new law? Do you think that removing gendered toys is ultimately a positive step? Let us know in the comments below.